it tells us what quantity demanded is, and it tells us what quantity supplied is. It says, what is the deadweight loss created by a subsidy of 3.87 per unit paid to suppliers? And then it clarifies, it says, the subsidy inclusive price received by suppliers is 3.87 higher than the price paid by consumers. So we'll do the subsidy part in a second. Well, first let's just find what our equilibrium quantity and price was. So we know that we're gonna just set supply equal to demand and solve for price. And we do that and we find that price is equal to 8.59. So quantity is equal to 162.3. Again, we can plug in 8.59 into quantity uh, demanded or quantity supplied to get the equilibrium quantity. In either case, you'll get 162.3. So from here, now let's take a look at what the subsidy does. Well, it tells us that the inclusive price received by suppliers, which is PS, is 3.87 higher than the price paid by consumers. So that is saying this, PS is equal to PC plus 3.87. Well, we know that the supply side is gonna have PS and the demand side is gonna have PC. So when we set supply equal to demand this time, in our supply function, we're gonna plug in PC plus 3.87 instead of PS. In the demand function, we're gonna plug in PC like usual. So now we can solve for PC after we work this out. Doing some algebra, we find that the price that consumers pay is 6.87. So the quantity with the subsidy is 213.82, because again, we plugged in PC this time to our demand function. If we would have solved for PS, which we would have plugged in 6.87 into our PS equals 6.87 plus 3.87, or then we would have, um, in that case, we would have plugged in PS to our quantity supplied to get this new um, quantity for subsidy. So just be careful, we didn't have to do that. Um, that, that, that's an extra step, but know that you could also do it that way. In this case, I just solved for PC and I plugged PC into quantity demanded to get my quantity with the subsidy. So I know that my quantity with the subsidy is 213.82. My equilibrium quantity is 162.3. So that's gonna be the base of my triangle, the difference between those two quantities. So I can find my dead weight loss is just one half base times height. Where the, height, where the height is 3.87 because it's equal to the amount of the subsidy and the base is 213.82 minus 162.4. And I find the deadweight loss in this case is 100. So let's take a look at a graph to see what's going on here. In the case of a subsidy, P star is higher than the price of the subsidy. So that's saying that we are gonna be selling more units than we should be selling because there's a subsidy and that makes sense. So we're selling QS, we should be selling Q star, the deadweight loss is equal to that triangle, that red triangle. 